All right, so let's talk about this. This is a problem you had for homework. Uh, I don't. I, I, I typed in the short version of. It. I believe it asked for the horizontal and vertical reactions at uh, A and B. So just to help us visualize that, I'm going to draw those on there. So that's. Uh, those are both pins. So I'm going to assume that I have a reaction in the x and y directions at D and at A. It'll be a little harder to see A up here, but you just kind of, you can kind of get the idea. Oh. There's four reactions. Uh, so if I do a free body diagram of the whole structure, could I find all four? What's well, four unknowns and one big free body will give me how many equations? You can play along. If I draw one free body diagram in two dimensions, how many equations of equilibrium, is the equilibrium do I generate? Three. So I have three equations and four unknowns. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I can get some of them. So let's do that. Let's get as many as we can here without taking the thing apart. Okay? So let me draw a free body diagram, kind of a, a, an easy one, of the whole structure. And I don't really care too much about all these bits and pieces because I'm not going to take anything apart. I do know I have a 400 pound force here. And that's at three feet and one feet. I'm going to replace the distributed load by what? A concentrated equivalent force. Uh, the area of that curve, it's a rectangle, so it should be base times height. The base is for the height is 250, so that's 1,000. And it acts through the centroid of that area. And we all know the centroid of a rectangle is what? Just midway. So that should be at uh, two feet and two feet. And just so you can see it again, it might be a little clearer now, I'll go ahead and relabel the reactions at D and the reactions at A. <coughs> so any questions about that? So what I think would be a good place to try, and, and we've talked about this before, is whenever you have pins, a pin's a good place at some moments, right? Because two of those unknowns are concurrent at that point. And the other neat thing about this problem is you'll notice that both the Y components are collinear. So if I come over here and let's say I sum moments, which one do you want to sum moments about, A or, or B? A. <laughs> Let's vote. Everyone raise their right. No, raise your right hand if you want A. Okay, it's D then by default, since nobody voted for A. Did anybody vote by the way, at all? I think that turnout was about what we had a few months ago. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do it about D. It really doesn't matter. When I do it about D, both these forces, the concentrated equivalent of a thousand and the four hundred. Create what kind of moment about D using right hand rule? Positive or negative? Negative. So I'll start at the top. So I'll have a negative 1,000 pounds. And it has a moment arm about D of 2 feet. And then I'll have minus 400 pounds. And it has a moment arm of 3. So far, so good? Now, what else creates moment about D? Does AY create moment about B? AX. Does not. So AX. And AX create, what's, what kind of moment does AX create about D? Positive or negative? Also negative. And it has a moment arm of? The height, which I didn't write, which is 3. So we should be able to solve for AX. Uh... I want to say that's uh, what? Is it 500? No. 12. Um, plus 
1,066.7, something like that. Did you guys get that? And you should be negative. 1066.7, thank you. So 1,066.7 pounds. One down, three to go, right? What else can I get on this free body while I'm here? I got two more equations. What else can I do? Well, I've got one X already. Can I get the other one? Yeah. yeah. So let's do that. So let's sum forces in the X direction. And when I do that, I've got AX to the right. That's positive. I've got DX to the right. That's positive. And what else? Nothing. So that one shouldn't be too hard to solve. It looks like DX is minus AX. And minus AX is 1,066.7 pounds. Positive. So I got the right direction for D, D, wrong direction for A. Now I have one more equation left. What is it? Um, the y direction. Right, so I can sum forces in the y direction. And this is where the challenge comes in. Because I'm going to write that equation, so I've got AY acting up, DY acting up, so that's two unknowns in one equation. So I won't be able to solve this, but I'll have a relationship between A and D that I can use later. And then also I've got minus the 1,000 pounds, which was my concentrated equivalent, and minus the 400 applied force. So for right now, I'll just kind of, I'll just put a little... Uh, highlight underneath it. It says, I do have an equation now that relates AY and DY, but I can't really do anything with it. But if I can find AY, I get DY. Or vice versa. If I find DY, I can get AY. So now, looking at this structure, I want to try to find one of these uh, Y components. And the only way I'm going to be able to do it is to probably disconnect elements from the structure. Uh, this down here looks very confusing and over here too but when I look at it when I look at A, B I see the two things that I want one of them I want, one of them I have I know this and then I have B and there's a couple things happening here right? so what if I decided to draw a free body diagram of just section A, B what's going to happen well first of all there's the geometry for AB. Uh, there's AY. There's AX. Let's see, we've already talked about the concentrated equivalent along the top being a thousand pounds and being right in the middle, which is uh, two feet and two feet. So now we have to look at what's happening at P. So I've got this element BD and this element BC all connected at D. Now what's unique about <coughs> BD and BC? They're two force members, right? So I know that their line of action is just connecting the two points. So that means that I have a force, and I'll assume it's in this direction, I know its direction, I just don't know its magnitude. I'll call that the force in BC. And then I'll have another force going over here, which would be the force in BD. Now, do, do I care about those two forces for this problem? I do not. But now I have a new free body, which gives me three new equations of equilibrium I can write. Now, I'm only trying to find... <coughs> A Y. How can I find A Y with one equation? Take the moments about B. So if I sum my moments about point B, what do I get? Well, this thousand creates what kind of moment about B? Positive or negative? I heard both answers. Positive. Positive. Right. Right hand rules. Positive. So it's going to be a thousand pounds. And what's the moment arm? Distance is two feet. Does AX create moment about B? 
It does not. What about a y? The way I've drawn it here is that positive or negative moment? Negative. So I'll have a y, and what's its moment arm? Four. So it looks like a y is five hundred pounds. No. Yes, five hundred pounds. Sorry. And of course, now that I have AY, I can stick it in here. So that implies that DY is going to be equal to what? Well, I've got 1,400 pounds negative. Now if I subtract 500, I should be left with 900. Is that right? So, yeah, so DY is 900 pounds. So any questions about that or comments about that? What? Mr. Brown, you're... It's so easy. It's so easy. <laughs> I may have a slight advantage over you when it comes to working <laughs> these problems. I may have seen them once or twice before. I, I may have been working on <coughs> problems longer than some of you have been alive. So I may have just a tad experience. But you can see it's, it's no more than just drawing your free body diagram applying your equations. There will not be a problem that you'll have be faced with that can't be solved by that approach. Can you explain, um, when you worked your problem last time, it was similar to this, but not the exact same. You broke it first. Can you explain why, that, why you don't break this one first? I, you know, I, I can't remember that one. Were these things staggered? Uh, there was only one distributed load. It wasn't, it wasn't a, uh, yeah. a point load. Oh, I see it now, yeah. Um, I don't remember. I think that's... I don't, did I have to find all the... I, did I have to find all the forces in that or just the reaction? Just on um, vertical reactions. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll pull it up. I have it on, online. We'll look at it real quick. Uh, are there any other questions about this one? This is a good one for the exam, I think. Something like this would be nice. would be really nice. That's, that's, that's a hint, by the way. <laughs> All right.